Mm-hmm. I've seen it in myself, so I know. Uh, I can take it into consideration. I appreciate that. We're going to process this a little bit more in a second, but let's make sure that everybody kind of... Hey guys, welcome to Little Black Buck. You know what time it is. Yeah, yeah, yes. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button for notification of the what uplo video. For those who are returnees, you ain't got the minerals. You ain't got the minerals. I'm talking to you guys about Benzino um Love goals, uh, we're gonna break something down. So, I was just watching a little clip, I haven't watched a whole show yet, so I'll do a whole show um, summary um, probably during the course of the week, but I'm gonna do a quick snippet once for you guys so we can release this during the course of the week. So, boom. Um, so, um, Spirit, the Spirit put on a little group task, which I think was amazing. Many people probably don't agree with it, but what people don't understand is, um, especially in, in business, um, what we do sometimes is do these kind of group tasks where people say what they feel or think about um, people, right? They do a thing where it's a perception test. What did you perceive about the person? What their strengths and their weaknesses are, right? And when you spent weeks with somebody, you're able to label their strengths and their weaknesses. Now, I've done one of these tests before, and I already knew what was coming my way. So I was ready for it. I braced myself, and it said exactly what I thought it was going to say. I'm always late. I know. So, um, I was ready for it. Uh, but all my other qualities that they said were, were beautiful and amazing, right? So these tasks always exist to let us know where we stand. Look, if a group of people can... Um, uh, consensus come to a point where they say this is your type of behavior that we do not like then you have to become smart and say okay wait am I really being attacked and or am I having to learn something about myself and that's where Benzino needs to get himself to so first thing we saw is before we even get to that point first thing you see is this um um they go to Spinderella Spinderella says obviously I knew you were gonna say Spinderella. that <laughs> <laughs> okay. Girl, please. See, she chooses Sunday as the person who hasn't really showed up in the group the way she needs to be. Now, I'm going to break some stuff down. When she, when Spinderella does this, look, she is, what I like about Spinderella is that she keeps it calm. She keeps the tone even. You know, she says it in a, in a loving manner. She does, she's not trying to insult you. She's just trying to bring something to you, right? That's the way she spoke to Sunday, right? Now, when she said, obviously, you know, she was choosing Sunday. She took, she, you know, she flipped it over quite slowly, not to be rude about anything. Her partner, Q, if you watch him, was actually focused on her answer as well. You know, he was still giving her support. You know, you notice that it's still very, very close. You notice that he's, real, he's still quite tight to her. You know, he's still trying to support her in the physical means. I definitely believe that their love language is physical touch because they're always so attached to the hip. You know what I mean? Even when he's trying to support her that way. Right? And then as soon as um, Sunday's name was mentioned, Sunday immediately reacts and says, I, I knew you were going to say Sunday. that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a defensive reaction. That was not a reaction of, okay, cool, how do I process this? That was a reaction that was that's similar to Benzino. Unable to take criticism. Unable to receive information, even when it's said in a loving manner. That's scary. Because if I'm trying to say something to you in a loving manner and you still don't know how to receive it, then it's very hard for me to help you. Because there are people out there that don't mind giving it to you hard. And that one I don't agree with. But if you do it in a loving manner, right, and you give it to somebody and they reject it, that says a lot more about them than it does say about the person who's delivering it. Do you understand? Because you yourself, that means you cannot accept that something's come your way. Do you understand? And look, we're all human beings. We can't all accept criticism. We know this. But at the same time, You've got to get to a place where if you're going to accuse someone later on that they, they can't take criticism, you can't act a certain way when you're being uh, when you're being being addressed. So you know she immediately did that, and then what's her body language here? She says obviously then she she starts laughing nervously, <laughs> and then she actually reshuffles in her seat. She's uncomfortable. The word Sunday that got to, <laughs> the fact that all she said was that you know what all that all that, um, Spinderella said. She even said a little speech before. I'm gonna say this person. I'm going to hold to a higher regard before I show them because I feel like they're their own, they're stopping them. She understands where this person's kind of coming from, blah, 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 blah. Then says her name and then you get that type of reaction. That just shows more about Sunday than it does, uh, uh, I guess, about Spinderella delivering this message, right? And then if you watch Brayon as well, at the time, a smile appears across his face. Why? Because... When Spinderella actually says about Sunday, she says, obviously, you're, un, you know, you're unable to receive love, you know? Um, and that unreceived love is coming from who? Him. So when he hears that, he's like, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I've been trying to tell y'all. That's, that's what I've been trying to tell Sunday. She'll be, she'll be accepting my love. Although he's got uh, two other girlfriends. But yeah, she'll, she'll be accepting my love, you know? 
And so what we see is now he's smiling because someone's doing his job for him. You know, it's a bit like when you've had an argument with your partner and you've not been able to get through to them. And then someone else who's an outside party sees what you saw and said it the way you said it. And now that person is like, you, have to, you, you start smiling like, what did I tell you? I told you that was the case. Do you know what I mean? So I saw that as well. Sunday then, after that, Sunday then literally um, got a finger, was, got a finger and then started to relax, like kind of like, almost like she was fed up. Yeah, she put her finger to her temple and then a smirk appeared her face and then she kind of became very steely in her eyes. And this was all because of the fact that she didn't like what was said by Spinderella towards her. She couldn't take criticism um, and she was hurt by that, right? And then she then turns to Spinderella a few seconds later and says, um, um, she goes, and the tone she takes, yeah, tells me everything you need to know. That when Sunday is hurt, it's dangerous for everybody else because the sarcasm that she used, she actually hit Spinderella verbally because she was like look I'm, I'm stopping myself from getting love that's what you think mm -hmm. okay you i'm stopping she's like oh, i'm stopping myself from getting love um and then she and you know um uh the, the tongue was accusing like, i'm stopping myself from getting love and almost like i said what you t you're telling me i'm stopping myself from getting love what about you you know what i'm saying what about you and then you see at this point, whoo, this Chile, she licks her lips, but then Brayon, watch him again. He's just minding his business and he even pretends to even start um, imaginary drawing on the paper, on the paper that's on his, on his armrest, right? Because he doesn't want to get involved. Because what he's starting to see is Sunday starting to react. He knows, he knows, he knows his feeling. He knows his behavior. He's seen it before. He knows what to do. Don't get involved. It only brings fire to the, uh, brings more fuel to the fire. So he doesn't say anything, right? She says, okay, in a certain tone. Okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. A bit like, you know when you, when you don't, you know when you don't, um, you know when you don't like what someone said, uh, okay, yeah, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, yeah, 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 okay, okay. You know what I mean? That, that kind of tone, that's what she used. And then she looked at Spinderella, I, I, I look at Spinderella and I was like, you can tell that Spinderella's being genuine when she's given this, you know, directive to, 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 to Sunday. So for Sunday to turn around and talk to Spinderella that way just shows again, this, this um, when you're be like this defense of herself, this the armory comes right out, the army tanks come right out shooting poof, poof, as soon as she feels that she's under attack, and that is that is something that you can't do in this process when you're trying to grow. Do you understand? Um, and so you know her reaction isn't the best, and then she goes on to say, look. Um, but like the I guard that you it. put up I when you yeah. don't speak and yeah, yeah. you keep things in. And... Yes. Okay. Yes, it's a mirror. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you did and you did a hand on a note. That's what she even did all of that. She did the So what you're telling me like what? Like when you don't when you don't speak yourself. All of that was contributing towards the fact she's trying to say, listen, I'm trying to bars you. I'm trying to bars you. Because who are you to tell me? Do you understand? Instead of actually taking what she said on board, she's trying to bars her back with sarcastic comments and tone. Um um, and you know, then she goes, then she goes, um, uh, uh, she's like, oh, I'll take it into consideration. And you know, when you know, when you said something, when someone said something to you, oh, yeah, I think we all know what that means. We ain't taking that advice on board. We ain't taking that advice on board. We are not accepting that advice. I'll take it into consideration. You, it's just you, it's just you being PC, not even polite. PC towards the situation, so you don't have to, you know, get into a ruckus, you know, and say what you truly, truly feel. Do you understand? So, and then, um, you know, Brayon chose Benzina. I really didn't like this behaviour. When Brayon chose Benzina, look, I understand he chose Benzina. Not a problem at all. Them two have been beefing for time, so it's not a problem. Um, and he says, obviously, something very key to that. Benzina takes a lot from the group, right? He feels like Benzina doesn't add, doesn't add as much to the group as much as he takes. In the sense of the fact that he causes a lot of drama. And that, since we've watched the show, we were seven episodes in, Benzina's been in a lot of drama. Yeah, and one thing that Benzina needs to take account of and stock of is that why is it the group, if he feels the group is against him, why is the group against him? You need to ask that question, why is the group feeling that you are the common denominator? Bear in mind, your woman next to you, Althea, ain't short of, 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 bad, uh, of bad traits either. She's walked out on you, she's cussed you at certain points, she's said things that are out of turn, like she's done a lot. But the difference is here. When people are sharing, they share. And Althea's mentioned this as well. You don't share. And, you, and when you say that, when you don't share, it makes you look like you're above everybody else. And, and, and you know, I think, uh, you know, it makes you feel like you're, everyone else has learned, everyone else is, everyone else is revealing their weaknesses and you're not revealing anything. So you're getting the best of it. You're not, you know what I'm saying? By you thinking that I don't want to share because I'm hurt or anything, or I don't want to say anything in front of anybody. Actually, what you're doing is 
you're making it look as if everyone should give their weakness over, but you won't give your weakness over as well. So again, you're not building trust. So you become the enemy. Plus, unlike Althea, Althea hasn't argued with other women. This is the difference. Althea hasn't argued with other women. Benzino has argued with women and men. And when I say women and men, I mean, I mean, I mean by that, um, you know, Teresa and Sandy. You know what I'm saying? He's argued with them. And Bravon. So not only have you argued with opposite sex, you've argued with the same sex. You know what I'm saying? So there's nobody who's going to back you now. Because the loyalty from the gender is now lost. You shouldn't have argued with Bravon. Um... And you know, Brevon said obviously he noticed that Benzino huffs and puffs. And that's a real that's a real observation because I noticed in one of the videos, as Althea was speaking, he was huffing and puffing. I was like, why are you huffing and puffing? We're all sharing this group therapy, we're, we're sharing. Why are you doing huff and puff? You're making you're, you're making it look as if you're again above everybody. And that is not what you want to be perceived as, even though that may not be true. You know? Um And then obviously he ends it by saying, you know. He acts like a little girl. Now I know this. This. This is. A, this is. We can't be saying these things, you know, Brave One. That was a low blow. And, and to say group sessions, if someone's talking, you should. You know, you should be respecting it. You shouldn't be all huffing and puffing like, like you know, just doing girl stuff. I don't like it. That acts like a girl is really, really bad because what it means is that it shows. Uh, it, it's a very. It's a. It's a term of demeaning somebody. You know, especially a male calling them a girl. You know, it demeans their their, their masculinity because what they show a bit more emotion. Uh, because they're a bit more emotional than other people, maybe because they get a little bit more temper tantrum, but actually that doesn't mean that someone's a girl. And in fact, it's also an insult to women too, because it means that women are only subject to their emotions. Is that how you women want to be classed as? I don't think women only are subject to their emotions. Um, do you know what I mean? We may say they're emotional beings, but so are men. It's just that men don't show it because of the fact that, oh, patriarchy we have. You can't show it, because when you show it, you get called a girl. So yeah, guys, hope you liked what we did there. Um, little body language, we're going to drop another video after this, so watch out for those as well. Appreciate you, say like, share and subscribe baby, appreciate you.